Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I would like to show you guys quick and easy how to get more details and how to get more sharpness onto your images. So let's get started with the first thing. We're going to apply a bit more sharpness and then we're going to apply a bit more details to our image over here. As you guys can see, I've got Desmond, a friend of mine, sitting here in the center and we want to create a little bit more sharpness now onto him and then also apply a little bit more details in Photoshop onto the background. All right, so let's get started with that. First of all, here in Bridge, what I'll do is double click onto my image here that I've selected, as you currently also see in the previewer, and we will take it directly through to Camera Raw. Now in Camera Raw, I don't want to adjust too much things here in our basic panel today. I would just like to actually add a little bit of sharpness and then in Photoshop apply a little bit more brightness to our details and also win a few more details back. Alright, so as you guys can see, let me just zoom in a little bit closer over here. I think I have already applied a bit more sharpness onto this image. So I'm quickly just going to go over here to my basic adjustments and quickly going to say camera raw defaults so we get the image as it came right out of the camera. So it's pretty much set to normal. All right, let's zoom in a little bit closer over here and we can see it's a pretty good shot. I think the sharpness was mainly over here somewhere. So over here we have a good average sharp image. So let's go and create a little bit more sharpness. So for that, I'll go over here to our adjustment panel and I'll go over to our details adjustment panels over here with these small triangles. Now under sharpening, first of all, what I'll do under amount, I'll take the amount all the way up to around 90%, as you guys can already see how noisy this image gets, but that is part of the effect. Okay, to up around 90 my amount and then my radius I'll take that down to 0 0.5 so just to get that noisiness a little bit out as you guys can see if I take the radius up again to 2.3 it is still very noisy so we take all that down and 0 0.5 and that sharpness is applied but the noisiness is out a little bit so we can actually go back to our amount here at the top and then tweak our amount a little bit more to say 96, 97%, that's a little bit too much, I'll go back. I sometimes play around 70 to 91%. Okay, this is also zoomed in very, very closely. If I will go back now to my full screen with Command-0, you will see that the sharpness is looking okay. It's not too intense. All right, so that is my first stage for applying just a little bit of sharpening. So basically in our raw image, in camera raw, we're applying it directly onto the raw image, just a little bit of sharpness. Okay, once we're done, we're gonna hit open object down here and we'll take that straight into Photoshop. So camera raw is preparing that and we go over to Photoshop. Okay, over in Photoshop, first of all, what I'm gonna do is press F again, full screen mode over here, and with Z, just going to zoom in a little bit to fit this onto our screen. So as you guys can see, the sharpness is still there. We have a very, very sharp image over here. We can actually do a comparison quickly. So what I'll do is just duplicate this layer. We're also going to rename that quickly. So double click on here and I'm just gonna write here sharpness. Okay, and we're gonna duplicate that via command J. We're going to rasterize our duplicate layer because if we have two smart objects, that other smart object will also be adjusted. Okay, go back to our first sharpness layer over here. We're going to press on our smart object icon down here and go back into camera raw as I showed you guys before in other tutorials where we did a double raw conversion. You can go back into camera raw. Okay, over here on the basic slider again, I will quickly set the image back to camera raw default and open that, say OK and open that again in Photoshop. So just that we have a small comparison to see where we started and where we now. OK, back there and then I'm just going to turn off our f sharpen layer here over the, the top, just going to write sharpness, OK. And that's basically switched off now. So let's go back to just our sharpness layer, our normal basic shot out of the camera. As you guys can see, there is a little bit of focus and it's sharp. But now to just apply sharpness in camera raw already takes it to this level. So over here, I'm going to switch it on and off. So that's the before and after, before and after. So you can see there's already a little bit more sharpness. If you're now even closer to your subject or shooting a portrait, you'll see that that sharpness applies even more. All right, so let's press Command-0 again and now add a little bit of, or actually win a little bit more of these details back here at the back. 
So for that, I'm just going to move my image here in the center again. And for that, we're basically going to our sharpness layer over here. And we're now going to press Command Alt Shift E, the master shortcut to create a new layer. And I'm just going to write here details. Okay. Now on that details layer, I'm going to go up to the top to image. And we're going to go to adjustment and all the way down to shadow and highlights. Select shadow and highlights. You'll directly see a new window pop up. And you also see how that affects our image already. Okay, so under here we've got a few adjustments already, most probably from our old adjustments, or if you haven't used this before, it will all be to zero. Now under here in my shadows, I'm going to start at the top. First of all, my amount, as I can already see, it's way too hard for this image, so I'm going to take the amount just down a little bit to say 25% over there. Total width, also going to play with this a little bit. See what it gives me if I play up with 50, 25%, 30 around 40% I would say okay so the highlights also pops a little bit here okay 40% and then radius like I said again I mostly take my sliders all the way to the right and all the way to the left to see how strong that effect will be over here on the left I can also see our details are still covered a little bit and we're getting a little bit more details again okay so let's keep it at around 70% 70 pixels okay highlights not going to play too much with this Highlights are quite good already. Tonal width, also not going to play a lot with this. Let's take the slider all to the left again and all to the right. Doesn't give us that much of an effect, so I'm going to leave it around 50% halfway. Okay, radius, also not going to play with that. That's all pretty good. Color correction, I'm pretty much happy with the color. It just boosts or saturates the reds a little bit, so I'm going to take it down just a little bit. So say to m plus 10 over around here and mid-tone contrast also not going to play with that because we're going to alter our opacity once we're done with the shadow and highlight uh, adjustment. Okay, so there we're done and we're going to hit OK over here and that has been directly overtaken and Photoshop is still rendering that and our new details layer is right here at the top. Okay, so as you guys can see, we do have a lot of new areas with loads of new detail and now if I'm going to switch this off just quickly to show you guys the before and after, before and after again. Now I don't want to apply this at 100% opacity because this looks quite strong. So what I'll do is take the opacity down a little bit, say to around 50% halfway, and just have a look before and after, before and after. That looks about right. I would most probably add a little bit of a contrast and then a vignette on top of that and start my photoshopping. Also my saturation, that's not too heavy. Let's zoom in a little bit closer over here. Having a look at that, maybe a little bit closer to its face. Okay, and the saturation is also not too strong and actually took it out a little bit. As you guys can also see, we're quite winning a lot of more details here in the shadow parts of the person. So that is quite good. Okay, so let's go back to our first image that we actually shot on. Here, that is our first image. Let's just press Command 0. So we have the full screen image. Started out with just a normal image. Then we applied a little bit more sharpness, as you guys can see now before and after, before and after, and then also some details. Before and after, before and after. Okay, so let's take all of that sharpness and details, press Command G, put that together in a group, and we're just going to write here sharpness and details. Okay, hit enter, and that is it. Okay, so I hope you guys learned something from this quick tutorial. My name is Manny. If you still have any questions, please feel free to write me to team at mannyphotography.co.za. Thank you guys for watching and see you all next week in another tutorial. Bye-bye.